This happened to me back in 2008, when I was a 16 year old girl. I was pretty high at the time, so I could have just been having a bad trip and being paranoid. But I've thought about it a lot and I feel like I just managed to escape a dangerous situation. I had just turned 16, which is kind of a big deal. And instead of being at home celebrating with my friends, I was stuck in a town hundreds of kilometers away from them. It's a beautiful, vibrant town. I just didn't know anyone there, except for Dave. He was 21 years old and I really did not know him well. I had met him once when he was visiting my hometown. But I was lonely and as a 16 year old, spending your birthday alone is literally the worst thing. So I was desperate to have some fun. Dave invited me to go to an overnight trance festival with him and his friends. At first my mom was completely against the idea but Dave agreed to meet up with my family and I pretended to know him a lot better than I really did. He was a very mild mannered and charming boy. And this coupled with the fact that my mom felt bad for my 16th birthday being so shitty was enough to convince my mom to let me go. I was so excited. I was going to my first festival and with older guys. It was going to be the best birthday ever. The festival was being held in the middle of a wooded area about an hour's drive from where I was staying with my parents. I had never met Dave's friends but they seemed okay. This one guy made me feel a little uncomfortable. He kept on looking at me like I was food. We'll call him Mike because I don't remember his name. I wasn't going to let that ruin my evening though. The night started with us smoking some weed, which I was no stranger to. Then they convinced me to snort some MDMA. It was my first time, but I was no stranger to drugs, so I obliged. We then went to the dance floor and I had a blast. I was way too high to care about anything but the music and the way it felt to move my body. I started feeling a little overwhelmed being in the thick of it, so I moved off to the side where I could still hear and dance to the music but be a bit more chilled. I slowly became aware of a conversation taking place behind me. The voice was saying odd things. The first man says, see that girl? She's one of my girls. She knows how to treat you right. Just see how well she moves. The other guy said, she does look good. The first man then goes on to describe all the things his girl can do. Some pretty intense sexual things. I was like, man, this girl sounds hardcore. I even looked around to try and spot her. There were a couple of ladies nearby, but I had no way of knowing which one it was, so I just carried on dancing. After a while, the first man encouraged the other to go and dance with this girl, and she would give him a taste of what she can do. And to my surprise, this man came and tried to start dancing with me. I stopped dead, looked at him, and then turned around to see who was calling me his girl. And there's Mike, standing and leering at me. I'm standing there in shock when Dave rushes over and whispers, we have to go, and pulls me off the dance floor. I go with him, thinking of him as my saviour, and he takes me over to some jungle gyms overlooking the festival. I managed to find a comfortable corner of the jungle gym, and was just enjoying the evening air, the fire dancers and the distant dance floor. When I spot Mike, fairly close by in an animated conversation with the guy from earlier. The guy finally hands over some money and I was just puzzling this over when Dave and his friends come over to the place I was happily ensconced. They surround me and offer me a line of something. I ask what it is but they won't tell me, so I decline. There are four of them standing very, very close to me, completely trapping me as I have a pole at my back. One is shining a torch in my face and they will just not take no for an answer. They badgered me for what felt like 10 minutes before I finally gave in. As soon as I had taken the line, Dave says we should head to the car. I was already way too suspicious to ever want to go to the car, so I asked if I could just go and dance real quick and then I'd come with them. I ran off to the dance floor, pretending to be excited to get dancing and pushed my way right into the thick of the crowd. From there, I worked my way to the front and then slipped into the surrounding woods. I hid behind the closest tent and tried to plan out what to do next, 
when my phone blew up with texts and calls from them, asking me where I was. I had literally been gone for two minutes. Why were they so worried? I began moving stealthily, from one tent to the next, hiding behind trees and being extremely paranoid. As I was switching hiding places, I heard two guys approaching, so I dove into some bushes. I had no idea who they were, and I was about to ask them to help me, when I heard one describing my exact outfit and appearance to the other. I was so scared. I had never seen those two amongst the group I was with. How did they know who I was, and why were they looking for me? I just had no idea what to do. I was scared that if I phoned my mom, I would get into huge trouble, and who knew how long it would take her to get there. I had no idea who to trust and no plan. I just continued moving through the woods, feeling hopeless and terrified, when I spotted a campfire. I ran towards it and when I emerged, there was a group of about 15 very high looking hippies, jamming music and having a good time. So I sat with them. They welcomed me warmly and let me sit with them for the remainder of the night. I didn't tell them what was going on. I wasn't sure I believed it myself. After a few hours, Dave finally found me and tried to get me to leave with him. I refused so he just sat there until sunrise. I then called my mom to come and fetch me. I didn't want to call her at an ungodly hour. I went home and never spoke to Dave again.